So now it makes sense why, you know, there was so much bloodshed in Selma and bloodshed on the bridge. So from where I'm at behind me, that's downtown Selma. And so the bridge is Edmund Pettus Bridge, if I'm saying that right. He was a clan member, a clan leader. That's why I named the bridge after him. So yeah, that's, that's why all that happened. There was, I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of lost right now. But yeah, a lot of lynchings happened over there. So pretty much Selma was a sundown town. And, you know, usually bridges and railroad tracks prevent, you know, black people from coming into a whites only area. So that's what this is right here. And that's why all of this, the monument, the observation is all on this side of the bridge. But yeah. the National Voting Rights Museum but it's closed and so I'm over here at the grounds where they have the tomb of the unknown soldier they also have um, a pathway behind me but I'm not gonna go down there by myself I really don't want to but I'm gonna just document this area that they was up upholding you know the clan ideology and racism white supremacy people that bully those of us who want tangibles and something of benefit in return for our vote and so they have the system messed up it's like okay your ancestors died for your right to vote so we look at the sign right there it says this must fuel our resolve to secure the right to vote in perpetuity okay the definition is just in simpler terms for eternity never ending okay and it's also the act of being perpetual okay we've done that and we want to continue voting and we want to do that we just want tangibles in return and we don't want to be used and pimped out for our vote okay you should always want something that's beneficial to you in every act that you do if not you're being pimped out okay so yeah i'll vote i'll definitely vote i have the right to it the ancestors secured it, but I want some tangibles, reparations, laws to protect me and my future generations, you know, against certain crimes and brutality and acts of injustice. We want justice, okay? And if you don't know what justice is, it's time you can get on code.
want to come here too because we are we well we have been used for our vote since we got the right to vote so many people would pick on us like you know um it's disrespectful to those who fought for your right to vote but guess what they also fought for my my right to not vote and to also demand something in return for my vote so let's not cheapen their legacy and continue to selfishly what un i don't know just blindly give away our votes and get nothing in return okay so right now we're at a great place where we are on the same accord in thinking that so don't let anyone bully you into continuing the tradition of voting just for a temporary emotional high and a sticker okay let's actually demand something for our vote and if not you know make the choice that you, you want to choose to do i can't get on you for well no one should make you feel bad for going to vote and you shouldn't make anyone else feel bad for exercising their right not to but you should ask, your, ask yourself a question with everything you do what's in it for me okay you click on this video because there's something in it for you maybe you wanted to see this location maybe uh this is something that you're planning to come to or you've been here before and wanted to see how it changed you wanted to gain some more insight on why i'm here at this location so hopefully you get something for your time here but you should do that in everything that you, that you participate in what's in it for me and it should definitely be something that benefits you and that is tangible not something that is a feel good a dopamine high or after you do it you feel tricked okay thank you so much for subscribing i will see you on the next video